us for seven GH and um, being live and clear. It's growing very well. See me in the past week I've had like one thirty six as a currently okay. subscribers. Mm -hmm. And the video I posted the last time too is having like two hundred and sixty mm -hmm. something views and I think it's very impressive for, mm -hmm. for the first time. So today we try to look at the historical antecedents mm -hmm. about how red cards and yellow cards was um, came into um, the game of football. You know, before 1970, the game of football they didn't have anything like red card or yellow mm -hmm. card. Mm -hmm. We were just playing the football. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I can imagine the likes of, of Maradona and them in the 1966 World Cup and all mm -hmm. um, trying to show what they have. But then su such there was, no, there was nothing like the yellow card or the red card. Mm -hmm. But Sina, what, 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 what brought about the yellow card and the red card? It is what we call the Battle of Santiago. That was a football match game um, that happened in the 1962 FIFA World Cup in mm -hmm. Chile. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it happened, uh, the game was between Chile and then Italy on, on 2nd June 1962. Mm -hmm. So in this particular game, it was a violent game. And that is the reason why they gave it the name of Battle of Santiago. It was very violent. And um, um, the referee at that time, refereeing the game was Ken Aston. Ken Aston is an England man born in England, um, Essex, in 1915. Mm -hmm. And he was teacher by profession. Okay. So, just a teacher, a normal teacher. And then on his free time, or at his free time, decided to go into refereeing of football matches. And so, during the Second World War II, this same man, Aston, <laughs> because he's a jack of all trades, decided to join the army also and fought for his country in the Second World War. But after the Second World War, he had a call up as to be the referee for for as part as one of the referees in the 1962 World Cup you are talking about, and in this particular World Cup, and then in this particular game, Chile versus Italy, he was leading the game, and as early as the 12 seconds of this particular match, there was a foul. Mm -hmm. 12 seconds, first 12 seconds, a foul, and so seriously, it, it it told us that look, this game is going to be a crunchy and a very difficult one, and of course a violent one. And Sina, the first thing or the first incident happened on the eighth minute when Ken Aston wanted to send Italian Giorgio Ferrani off for kicking a Chilean player. So this particular incident happened in the eighth minute. And the referee, who was an English man, wanted to send an Italian man off the pitch. But they didn't have anything to show to this man that, look, I want to send you off. Okay. And this man do not understand or cannot speak English, um, um, Italian. Okay. And so the player didn't understand what the referee was saying. And so he had to take the intervention of the Chilean policemen at the time mm -hmm. to come on the pitch and take this particular player off the pitch. Okay. And so that is what happened. And so the, play, the, 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 the policemen took the player off. And then going on in the game, a Chilean player, Leonel Sanchez, punched, senior, I'm saying punch though, okay. he punched Mario David of Italy in the face. But the referee didn't see and so didn't give any caution or any punishment to, to Leonel Sanchez. So Leonel Sanchez was still playing the game. So David was like, no, if he's punched me and you didn't see, I'll kick him right in your face. And look, Mario David of Italy kicked Leonel Sanchez at a point in time in the game, right in the face of the referee. And the referee also wanted to send Mario David out of the game. And again, the barrier of language and the barrier of, I don't know what to send, um, tell this, uh, this particular player to send off. And so the police had to, had to come, come on and then take this player off. Now, the reason why this game... Is, is described as the Battle of Santiago and the, one of the most violent and dirtiest game in the game of football. If you type on Google right now, the most dirtiest football game in, uh, in football, uh, in the football or anything, you are going to get this particular game. Look, the commentator at the time, maybe um, 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 uh, Peter, um, Peter, this guy, the Roma Peter, commentator. Peter, Peter, yes, Peter, 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 yes, the English commentator. Peter, 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 Peter Drury. Peter Drury. Of, of that time is David Coleman. And he, he described the match as this. The most stupid, sorry for these words, the most stupid, appalling, disgusting, and disgraceful display of football, possibly in the history of the game. So it was a very dirty game. Now, 
this particular referee seeing what transpired in the game, how the players made him suffer in the game. Look, he start thinking that look, we have to get something to 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 that will be a universal language to tell everybody that if I do, I show you this thing, it means you are caution. If I show you this thing, it means you are supposed to get out of the game. And so this particular referee, one of the time after a game at Wembley, was driving home. And on his way home, he stopped at the traffic light. And when he stopped, the first thing, or the, the thing that made him stop, was the red light. Okay. So, this referee stopped. And the red light and was like, wow. And the yellow light is, you get ready, you are about to go. Yeah. And then the green light is go. go. So, if get ready, you are about to go, is yellow. And red is stop. Now, I can translate the, those meanings onto the page as red means get out of the page. Of the page. And yellow means you are cautioned. Yeah. And so that is the reason why we got we got those colors mm. for, for red and yellow okay. cars. And so the first time this particular red and yellow cars were used was in 1970 World Cup in Mexico. Okay. 1970. So from 1970 up till now, yes, the game has evolved, seeing new changes, but still the yellow cars and red cars are still in place. But senior, the record match. For most yellow and red cars took place in Germany in 2006. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this match. Mm -hmm. This is also the Battle of Nuremberg. That was um, a, a game between Portugal and Holland. And see now, referee Valentin Ivanov had a busy night giving 16 yellow cars and four red cars in that particular game. Mm -hmm. 16 yellow cars okay. and four red cars. And seriously, on that game, Costinho, Costinha had his first red card. The likes of Deco and two other Holland players also had red cards. And yes, the game ended 1-0. But look, it, it has been an important part of football game since 1970. And it, it, it is a nice uh, story having this as, 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 as the backbone of the reasons why we had red and yellow card and not green okay. or any other okay. colors. <laughs> and so that is that for, okay, for today okay, yeah. and, and that education. Okay, thank you very okay, much. Boss. Okay, thank you very much, Kinji, uh, for that enlightenment. Oh,